Greetings, this is Terry Whitfield. For the Terry Whitfield Yasha Ben Israel Podcast Show. Back at you one more time with another subject discussing things that they don't want you to know and things that people don't like to talk about. Today's topic of discussion, no man could ever be a virgin in the eyesight of God. I repeat, no man can be a virgin inside of the eyesight of God. One may say, Terry, what do you mean by that? I can look in the dictionary, and the dictionary says, a virgin is any person or someone that has never had sex before. When you say someone, that doesn't include or exclude any gender. That could be anybody, male or female. My response to that is you're absolutely correct. That you're absolutely correct. At least in one sense. But in another sense, you're absolutely incorrect. You're correct in the sense that a virgin could have that definition inside of the English language. Inside of the English language, you're 100% correct. And the reason why I think some people love the English language so much and don't want to learn any other language, especially biblical believers, they don't want to learn Greek or Hebrew because they want to stay 100% correct. They want to shine. They want to look like holy people and godly people. They want to appear to be anointed, smart, intellectual. That's how they want to appear. And as long as they want to appear that way, there is no need for a further look, a further analysis and or a further correction. However, when you're dealing with the things of the Bible, the things of God, the Holy Scriptures, then you have to look at things through another lens and through a Hebrew lens and a Greek lens. You want to go to the original translations just to be sure that your ideas and your beliefs stand up to scrutiny. That your ideas and your beliefs be more in tune with universal truth and righteousness. For there's a problem if I translate something from one language to the next. If I translate an idea from one language into another language where no such idea exists, then the translation is suspect. And if I translate from an idea again that doesn't exist in the language that I'm translating to, then your translation is subject to scrutiny. For in Hebrew, There is no word as virgin to describe a man, ever. The Hebrew cosmology does not support such idea. The Hebrew origins of its universe does not create, uh, does not, uh, does not manifest such idea. 
inside of the Hebrew language, we must understand that the Hebrew language is very, very different from that of the English language. Very, 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 very different. We must understand that the English language and the Hebrew languages are worlds apart. Hebrew is a gender-based language, as well as Arabic, Spanish, and French. And English is not a gender-based language. What I'm saying is that whatever word root word in Hebrew there is a masculine and there is a feminine way to pronounce this word I'll give you an example love Oheb for a man for a woman Oheb okay Virgin for a man does not exist. Period. Why I'll say that because in his simplistic, in his most simplistic approach, when you look at the Bible, I would like for you to tell me or to go on a quest and challenge yourself and look up the word virgin or go Google. How many times have the Bible used the word virgin in reference to a man? It never ever happened, not one time, because the Hebrews did not have a concept of a male being a virgin, okay? The Hebrew word for virgin is batula, and batula, Is a feminine word, or a bait, or a bati, or a bati, or batuli. All of these words, or bait, or bat, all are feminine words, and are never, ever, 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 ever used in reference to a man in the Bible. Then you have the word Alma, which simply means a young woman. Now there's a masculine word for Alma, which is Alim. Alim is masculine. Alma is feminine. Alim is a young masculine vibrant man and Batula is just a young woman she could be a virgin she could not be a virgin she could have children these are words that represent a certain age bracket a person of young marriageable age Whether they're married or not, they're still marriageable. They're of that age where you can look forward or should look forward to being married. There is no word in Hebrew for a male virgin because the concept did not exist. There's a problem with the paradigm shift in knowledge and in education. Not only does the word virgin does not exist for a man in Hebrew for a very, 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 very long time and throughout the majority of English's history, never have the word virgin has ever been used to represent a man up until the modern translations uh, or the modern uh, uh, revisions of English dictionaries 
And these revisions reflect a paradigm shift. Okay? I'll give you an example. We can look in the Webster's 1828 Dictionary, where it says the word virgin, noun nearly virgon, Latin virgo, a woman who has had no carnal knowledge of a man. Number two, a woman not a virgin, which is in brackets unusual. Number three, the sign Virgo, see Virgo in brackets. And as an adjective, virgin, which means pure, untouched, as virgin gold, fresh, new, unused, as in virgin soil. Virgin as an intransitive verb, to play the virgin, a Kent word. None of these ever included a male anything. Webster's Dictionary, 1828. Virginal, pertaining to a virgin maidenly as virginal chastity. That's as an adjective. Virginal as a noun. A keyed instrument, not man, of one string. Jack and quill to each note. Like a pennant, but in shape resembling the forte piano, which is out of use. Vaginal is an intrinsitive verb. To pat, to strike as on a virginal. Virginity. In the Webster's 1828 Dictionary, virginity, a noun, Latin virginitas. Maidenhood. The state of having no carnal knowledge of a man. Virgin's bower. Noun, a plant of a genus Clematis. In the Bible, virgin is used 33 times. And none of these times was they was the translator ever intended to use the word virgin for a man, right? Virgin is used 33 times, all are referencing a woman. So basically, it is never a real reason to ever uh, refer to a man as a virgin in holiness, righteousness, or dealing with the uh, understanding of the scriptures ever. Uh, virgins with the S is used 22 times in the King James Bible, and virgins apostrophe S used only once, and it was in pertains to a woman. You could look up the word Alma which is H1330 in the Strong's Concordance, and it has nothing to do with a man. You can look up the word uh, Batuli, uh, which is 85959, and it never ever mentioned or had nothing to do with the man. You can look up Virgin in the New Testament. G3933. Strong Concordance, and not one instance of this ever in pertains to a man. Let's go through some examples of how the word virgin is used in the scriptures. 1 Kings 1 and 2. Therefore his servant said unto him, Let there be sought for my lord, the young king, a young virgin. And let her stand before the king, and let her cherish him. And let her lie in his bosom that my lord, the king, may get heat. That was not talking about a man. 1 Corinthians 7, chapter 34th verse. There's a difference also between a wife and a virgin. An unmarried woman careth for the things of the Lord, that she may be holy, both in body and in spirit. 
But she that is married care for the things of the world, how she may please her husband. Not one time was this term virgin used to reference a man. And that's a deep scripture. I like that. I'm going to touch back on that a little later if I have time. Lamentations 2.13. What thing shall I take to witness for thee? What thing shall I take to thee, O daughter of Jerusalem? What shall I equal to thee, that I may comfort thee, O virgin daughter of Zion? O virgin daughter of Zion, for they bre- for thy breach is great like a sea, who can heal thee? For thy breach is great like a sea, who can heal thee? O virgin daughter of Zion, nowhere was virgin referencing a man here. Luke 1 27 to a virgin espoused to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David and the virgin's name was Mary or was it James or Butch or Ted or Ricky never was the term virgin ever referenced to a man Joel 1 8 lament like a a virgin girded with sackcloth for her husband for the husband of her youth. Leviticus 21.3 And for the sister, and for his sister a virgin, that is nigh unto him, which hath had no husband, for her may he be defiled. Not referencing the man. If a damsel that is a virgin is betrothed unto a husband, and a man find her in the city and lie with her. Being betrothed to a husband is not referencing a man. Men don't be betrothed to men. I mean, I mean, how stupid can you people be? Amos 5 2. A virgin, the virgin of Israel is fallen. She, not he, shall no more rise. She, not he, is forsaken upon her, not his land. There is none to raise her, not him up. Leviticus 21 verse 3. And for his sister, a virgin, not a brother, a virgin. And for not and for uh, uh, his brother, a virgin. It says, and for his sister, a virgin. That is nigh unto him, which hath hath no husband. For her may he be defiled. Deuteronomy 22:23. If a damsel that is a virgin be betrothed unto a husband, not a wife, and a man find her in the city and lie with her, we're not talking about a man here. Amos 5:2. A virgin of Israel is fallen. I think I, I went through that one. Uh, Leviticus 21 14 a, a, a widow or a divorced woman or profane or an harlot these shall not these shall he not take for he shall take a virgin of his own people to husband no to wife this is not talking about no man Jeremiah 46, 11. Go up unto Gilead and take balm, O virgin, the daughter of Egypt. In vain shalt thou use many medicines, for thou shalt not be cured. When he referenced virgins here, it said, O virgin, comma, the daughter of Egypt. Uh-oh. Not, not the son, not the brother, not the daddy. Deuteronomy 22, 28. If a man finds a damsel that is a virgin, which is not betrothed, 
and he lay hands on her, not him, and lie with her, not him, and they be found. 2 Corinthians 11, verse 2. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy, for I have espoused you to one husband, that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. Can't be talking about no man <laughs> if, if he said I espoused you to one husband. God don't espouse men to men as husbands. Isaiah seven fourteen. Therefore the Lord himself shall give you a sign. Behold a virgin shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name of Emmanuel. The scripture was talking about a woman. Ain't no man is pregnant with child. The Hebrew word here, if you look it up, it is said that a young woman is pregnant with child. She is with child. Ain't no man with child. Unless the child is, is already conceived. Okay? It said a virgin shall conceive. A man is not conceiving like that. Isaiah 23 and 12. And he said, Thou shalt no more rejoice, O thou oppressed virgin, daughter of Zidon. Arise, pass over Kittim. There also shalt thou have no rest. Jeremiah 18, 13. Therefore saith the Lord, Ask ye amongst the heathen who hath heard such things, the virgin of Israel have done a horrible thing. But if any man think that he behaveth himself uncomely towards his virgin, if she pass the flower of her age and need so require, let him do what he will. He sinneth not. Let them marry. Matthew 1 23, Behold, a virgin shall be with child, and shall bring forth a son, and they shall call his name Emmanuel, which being interpreted, God is with us. Deuteronomy 32 25, A sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hair. Genesis 24, 43, Behold, I stand by the wells of water, and it shall come to pass that when the virgin cometh forth to draw water, and I say to her, Give me, I pray thee, a little water of thy pitcher to drink. Genesis 24, 16, And the damsel was very fair to look upon, a virgin, Neither had any man known her, and she went down to the well and filled the pitcher and, and came up. Now we go back to the prior scripture in 24, 43. We can see that it was very customary for the virgins to go down and draw, uh, draw water from the well. Uh, see, uh, uh, there was no reference in 24, 43. To let us know that there was a woman, we had to go by the customs. And that customs was solidified probably 30 verses uh, uh, earlier in uh, the 16th verse, where it said, And the damsel was very far to look upon a virgin, neither had any man known her, and she went down to the well and draw her water and came up. 2 Samuel 13, 2 and Amnon was so vexed that he fell sick for his sister Tamar, for she has a virgin, for she was, excuse me, a virgin. And Amnon thought it hard for him not to do anything to her. Isaiah 47, 1. Come down and sit in the dust, O virgin, daughter of Babylon. Jeremiah 31 4 again I will build thee and thou shalt be built O virgin of Israel thou shalt again be adorned with the temp the tabret and shall go forth in the dances of them that make merry 
Isaiah 62 5 for a young man marrieth a virgin so shall for as a young man marrieth a virgin so shall thy sons marry thee and as the bridegroom rejoices over the bride so shall the God rejoice over thee Jeremiah 32 21 Set thee up waymark, make thee high heaps. Set thine heart towards the highways, even the ways which thou wantest. Turn against thee, O virgin of Israel. Turn against thee, thy cities. First Corinthians. Still not referencing the man there in Jeremiah. First Corinthians 7:28. But and if thou marry, thou hast not sinned, and if a Virgin Mary, she has not sinned. Nevertheless, he that standeth steadfast in he that standeth steadfast in his, in his heart, having no necessity, but has power over his own will, and has so declared it in his heart that he will keep his virgin, doeth well. He will keep his virgin that he will keep his virgin doeth well. Not referencing a man. Not as being a virgin. Not in that scripture. Jeremiah 14, 17. Therefore thou shalt say unto this, thou shalt say this word unto them. Let mine eyes run down with tears night and day, and let them not cease. For The virgin daughter of my people is broken with a great breach. Deuteronomy 22, 19. And they shall immerse him in a hundred shekels of silver and give him unto the father of the damsel, the virgin, which he has brought up an evil name upon a virgin of Israel, and she shall be his wife. He may not put her away all his days. This is the Lord. This is the word which the Lord, excuse me, I don't have my glasses on. I'm out here reading in the sun. Uh, Isaiah 27, 37, 22. This is the word which the Lord has spoken concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion. has despised thee and laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has shaken her head at thee. Uh, 2 Kings 19 and 21. This is the word of the Lord speaking concerning him. The virgin, the daughter of Zion has despised thee. And laughed thee to scorn. The daughter of Jerusalem has forsaken, has shaken her head at thee. That's pretty much like the same in the uh, uh, Isaiah text. Jeremiah 31, 13. Then shall the virgin rejoice in the dance, both young men and old together. For I will turn their mourning into joy and will comfort them and make them rejoice from their sorrow. The Lord hath trodden under all mighty men in the midst of me. He has called an assembly against me to crush my young men. The Lord has trodden the virgin, the virgin, the daughter of Judah, as a wine press. These are all the times that virgin is written in the scripture. And, and I just showed you evidence that nowhere in the world, in the history of the world, was virgin ever relative to a man. Mind you that I said nowhere in the history of the world was the word virgin relative to a man. But what I am saying is that in modern times, And in modern dictionaries, the word virgin is unisex. So when you read the scriptures, if you're talking in English and everyday colloquial English, I guess it's okay for you 
to play games with yourself and to call a man a virgin. In Hebrew, a baby boy is not a virgin because you could never call a baby boy a alma. And every time the vir- word virgin was written in the scriptures, it was either alma or virgin. And never ever was these terms ever, 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 ever referred to or referring to a man as unto a man so there's no need when you're talking about things of the bible and things of that nature there's no need to ever refer to a virgin as a man and the real reason that people want to circumvent virgin to man is they want to give a man and a woman a certain equilibrium, a certain equality that never existed in ancient times. And it wasn't up until recently in the history of the United States of America, like the 1960s, that women had gained uh, freedom and liberty in America. She has the freedom to be as a man, to do and walk as a man, to actually be a man. She can actually go and marry another woman. Today, this is all done to circumvent the law, where the law spake in marriage. The law spoke of no other form of marriage, but that of a man marrying a virgin woman and what women and simp weak men want to do is circumvent the scriptures they want to go around the obstacle of the fact that that the scripture never mentioned a man happening to be a virgin it only mentioned a man marrying a virgin And the scripture talks about if this man have an issue with her virginity, that he can raise a fuss about it. The scripture never ever mentioned no kind of way, form or fashion to where a woman was sought, had sought after the virginity or valued or had need to value or question the virginity of a man. For anybody who is doing this is truly ungodly. Because if what you were doing was godly, it would go all the way back. It would trace back to the mind, the culture, and the history of the ancient Israelites. Not you trying to circumvent the laws of God and to make God (laughs) a bend, bow, and fold to your beckonings reasonings and logic God doesn't do that and this is the reason why the African Americans more than any other race have problems in their relationships they lie Uh, the women want to act like she's just this select woman that everybody wants her and the man just want to act like he's just just all of this and all of that how much uh, sex he's getting how much pussy he's getting, excuse the word, vagina, you know, and at the end of the day, when he lays down and closes his eyes forever, he would have been with hundreds of women that he would have not built nothing substantial for himself, a mentality unlike any other black man on the history historical face of this planet black men has always wanted to leave a legacy behind a real black man wants to leave a legacy behind a real black man wants to leave a legacy behind and this is the reason why most black men really really want to have a son to be able to leave a legacy behind yes anybody asking requesting, insinuating, or trying to convey 
any idea of male virginity concerning the things of God are trying to circumvent the laws of God. Anybody trying to circumvent the laws of God or do anything outside of submit to them is Hashetan. And they are being operated and moved and motivated by the spirit of Hashetan.